Do you remember back in high school? We used to run physics. And we used to be told about a tank that is bringing in water and one that is getting the water out. And you could be told at what rate will the tank either get full or get empty. And I want to say that what I learned to know that from the money making sense is that if you want to keep becoming richer or your money tank keep on becoming full, a very simple principle make sure that you have more inlets than outlets. Put it differently. Make sure that your inlet pipe is bigger than the outlet pipe. And this is the basic principle that differentiates the rich from the poor. I have learned over time, through a very careful analysis of global millionaires, that the principle that makes them rich for generations to come, and this is a secret of investors, that they make sure they endeavor to create so many pipelines for bringing money. That's why they invest in so many companies to make sure that money comes in seven directions. But to exit becomes very, very difficult. But the poor people do the inverse. They have only one inlet pipe, either through a salary or through a small business they have or through a profession. And they make money through one direction. But as money comes, it is weighted to exit in seven directions. I can tell you a very simple mathematics. Do you want to become rich? Keep ensuring that you have money coming in seven directions minimum. And make sure when money comes in, it will actually struggle to exit. And that's why the renowned Jews people who have the DNA for business, they have one principle they say, that when money comes into your compound, make sure it jumps into your compound seven times before it can find an exit. And let me give a very simple example. Where we are saying, you make sure number one, you have as many investment companies as possible, so that every year you get the dividends through many directions. And then finally, when it lands, to exit becomes a challenge. So you find when money comes, number one, you bank it in your bank. When you go shopping to, uh, in a supermarket, it is your supermarket. When you pay school fees, you are actually paying school fees in your school. When you go for insurance, you are actually insuring in your insurance company. When you want to go for holiday, you are actually going for holiday in your hotel. When you actually go for hospital, not because you are sick, to be checked whether you are sick, because rich people actually manage their health through preventive approach. So when you go to the hospital, you actually go to your own hospital where you are given due attention. And then finally, we also say, even the security in your house is actually your own security company. So you find when money comes into your compound, before you spend it outside your own compound, it becomes an impossible story. And that's why the people say, the rich keep on becoming rich, or the poor keep on becoming poor. Look at this poor man. He gets money only through one route called salary, one route called profession, one route called my business. And then when it comes, it is waiting to exit in seven directions. Rent, school fees, hotels, what, 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 until you are like, you never have money stop in your pocket. And you become a hazard until you die. May God help us to reverse the mathematics by making sure obey the simple principle. Create many inlets. Maxim maximize the inlets and you minimize your outlets and you shall forever be on your way to becoming a generational investor. Thank you.